seems to me as you talk that the opportunity is to take a balance of the best of the more traditional values and the best of our brilliant technology we have because it makes sense to grow through, to eat food that's grown fairly locally not spend a lot of resource on transporting it around the planet and yet we have this wonderful technology if we find a natural way to power it we can still have our computers we can still have our Absolutely. TV and communications and everything and that is the balance we have to find that it's we have to stop as you were saying earlier stop the conflict with each other yes. come together and balance these balances and just find a way to go forward and I wonder at what point the human race actually does realize that things are so serious mm -hmm. and rise to the challenge. Although the rumblings are there yeah. and you give wonderful, inspiring examples, it's not manifesting on a wide, in a wide way yet. Not nearly on a wide enough scale. But, you know, I'm encouraged because what I see on the Internet with young people is they're not interested in racism. They're, many of them come from different ethnic heritages. Uh, they're in a spirit of wanting to give things away to each other. That's why YouTube is so full of wonderful uh, films. And many of them are educational. For the first time, a young person can go on the Internet and find out how the money system really works and get ideas for reinventing it. You can invent local money. When the ATM machine yes. doesn't work, yeah. all you need is a local credit union where, by computer, you can debit when you buy something, your account, and raise your account when something is bought from you and where everybody has something to contribute so that you work together and, and you don't need the money system to get yourself out of a hole, but you can also at the same time use it. You can use alternatives. You don't have to do only one thing. So there's lots and lots of opportunity and so much sharing going on on the Internet that I think as soon as the crises hit, the invention comes out. Yes, I think there'll be a bit of panic and uncertainty, but mm. behind that, there will be the positivity, hopefully, and enough of yeah. it to, to push it through. One of my favorite things to say to people is, uh, you know, Polynesian indigenous sailors were able to navigate um, umpteen different ways without a compass. And whether it was fish patterns, seaweed patterns, cloud patterns, stars, all these things. And then they said, if all else fails, stand tall in your canoe until you can see the land. It was almost right. like cheating. You had to do all the other things first, right? right? But what they meant is human consciousness can be taken outside of your head. It can, you know, who hasn't been in a boring lecture having sex on a Hawaiian beach, right? You can move your consciousness around, right? You can think out of the box. You can uh, play with ideas. You can take a break from the human drama, rise above it, see it as a stage play, try to discern the plot, what's going on. Don't waste your time being mad at the bad guys. You know, if you see a play on a stage, you don't say uh, about the actor who's playing the villain, oh, isn't he awful? You say, isn't he doing a great job playing the villain, right? Yes. So you yeah. stop wasting your energy on accusations and judgments and instead say, here's the drama, I know how it works. This I didn't understand yet. I need to research that a bit to see how does that economy work? What is this money system? Where do I want to play in this great drama of humanity at this time? You choose where you want to play. And I say, make sure you choose something you're really having fun doing. First of all, you were meant to enjoy life. No matter how big the crisis is, you can enjoy life solving critical problems, right? So do that. Figure out what the game is. Figure out what are your talents and inclinations. What do you love doing? And find a way to fit yourself into this drama the way I do. I love what I'm doing, so I become an attractor for people. If you're miserable about what you're doing, who will want to do it with you? So get yeah. creative. Choose your role. And then play that role. Don't sit back and let life pass you by. Engage in it. Yeah, it is, it is somehow it's not forgetting that life is an opportunity. And it might not always be easy to see what your role is and your situation may not always be a straightforward situation. But somehow right. if you look and you're determined and then you're willing to focus on something, it can emerge and you'll find your way.
Yes, and you know, I've heard it said that uh, the gods are lined up for human bodies because nowhere else in the cosmos can you play this full keyboard from matter through emotions into mind, consciousness. Angels can't feel compassion in one book I read because they can't feel passion. They don't, you have to have a physical okay, body yeah, to yeah, feel passion. Yeah, yeah. So the angels are limited in what they can do. Only from a human body do you have access all the way to God, source, cosmic mind, whatever you call it, and still be in your physical self. Yeah. If you give up the body, because sometimes in despair people want to kill themselves. If you give up the body, you can't get it back. Yeah. Right, but from within it, you can learn to take your consciousness out beyond it and keep coming back and going out when you need a break and coming back. It's very yeah. interesting, but it's a, it's a kind of vacation time with God, I call it. You know? Okay. <laughs> Elizabeth, we need to finish now. It's really been quite inspiring sitting with you here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ian. It's been fun talking. <laughs> and I'm going to remind people about your... Uh, oops, dropping my notes here, which I didn't have to refer to. Um, Here's Elizabeth's latest book, Earth Dance, which is a really great read. And I want to uh, thank everybody for watching Conscious TV. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.